What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and get another message out for you. Also, I am doing personal readings today only. Okay, today only $15. You can either do four questions that you want answered, or if you want a full reading, the full reading consists of love messages, money messages, and finance, like money, work, and finances. And then uh, what's the tea going on in your energy? And then whatever else uh, Spirit wants you to know. So if you're interested, check out the description box down below. And I will try to remember to put it in the community tab as well. I was supposed to do it a while ago and I forgot. But um, I will also put it in the community tab of where you can send payments, which it will be via Cash App or PayPal if you're interested. Okay. But it is today only, which is Saturday. Okay. This Saturday, today only. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to dive into this thing one second. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in this thing. Okay, oh my eye about itching. Sorry, y'all. What is going on? Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. What messages does Scorpio need to know? I'll also be doing Libra's readings today as well. If um, I think YouTube only sends out like three alerts if you upload, but I'll probably be uploading way more than that today. Um, in between me cleaning up and stuff like I'm spring cleaning like I'm not gonna lie y'all guess what I did y'all know the little vent under the microwave I'm gonna tell y'all I ain't even ashamed I'm not even ashamed it was probably TMI that little vent under the microwave that I really just noticed like it had like a little covering yeah I cleaned that and I am so disappointed in myself like I think I traumatized myself because I realized how much gunk of grease was on there, and I was just like, "How did you miss that?" You know, you you it's you uh, you know it's kind of like one of those spring cleaning things. Like I'll be wiping windows today. I'll be wiping baseboards. I'm gonna be wiping the window seals. Like it's, I just said, you know what? I got to really. <laughs> I'm not gonna have my kids at all this weekend. So anyway. What's going on, Scorps? What do Scorpios need to know other than my personal business that I'm telling? What else does Scorpio need to know? Summer, Watchtower of the South, Union, okay. Yeah, I'm recording. Your juice up there, you want your juice? Okay, you want Dada? You'll see Dada today. One sec. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Let's see. Watchtower of the South. Hey. So we are going to be outside today. Watchtower of the South. 94. Somehow September 4th could be significant. Alright. So this says an old flame turns up. Okay. An old flame turns up. Romance is rekindled. New passion is breathed into a relationship. You are seeing the fruits of your labor. Your hard work has paid off. Enjoy the rewards. Now, I like that. Uh, you have attracted the energy of abundance. <laughs> Draw down the sun. Yes, you guys. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, we can squash the old flame turns up for me. I don't want that, but I take all the other stuff. <laughs> Anyway, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. So, calling upon the guardians and gatekeepers of the south, the season of summer brings you love as it works in a conjunction with the element of fire. By visiting the Watchtower of the South, you are being assisted in awakening your Kundalini energy through lust, attraction, and desire. If you've been trying to manifest and it ain't been working, it's about to work. Okay. Strength and power fuels the motivation, life force energy that ignites your inner flame. The South will accompany you as you walk your path with vitality and vigor. Connect with the mother aspects of the triple goddess and the father God who brings everything you've worked hard for. Your work is done. Time to have fun and enjoy the abundance that summer bestows upon you. The color red represents the element of fire and should be used in accordance with your magical workings at the time of noon. Summer breathes renewed passion into your association with the card that flanks this one. My goodness. Oh, this is good. Some of y'all now, y'all could be in union with a person or coming into union with a person, or this could be you just coming into union with your ancestors. Uh, what was it? What did it say? 
yeah, aspect of the triple goddess and the father god. Y'all are coming into alignment with like your higher self and y'all protected guardian. Y'all being protected. Look, healer, energy, my goodness, responsibility, high priest, high priestess. Yes, baby. Homecoming. <laughs> this has been after a true rebirth where you had to like clear out some energy here. Yep. That somebody could have projected at you here, was hoping that would manifest in your life. Yep. With the fertility card. But y'all are in this like abundance energy. As you are clearing out this old energy, you're welcoming new energy. Yep. You're going through your rebirth, death and rebirth. Okay. And you're coming back home to yourself or home towards your ancestors. Of course, stay responsible when it comes to your powers, your manifestations. Watch what you speak. Watch what, you, um, what you're manifesting, your thoughts and stuff like that too. Okay? Because you're healing, baby. You're healing. Something about lavender could be significant for you. Y'all could be seeing crows or ravens. Mm. Some of y'all got y'all back turned on something too. Why am I seeing that? Y'all could be like cooking something up, but people can't see what's, what's about to come. So I see that too. But you're protected. Yep. Y'all may see some uh, black cats. I have two. <laughs> well, she's Luna's. Luna, my mama cat's pregnant. Luna's pregnant. And she has baby cat. I, I've never named that one because he would never come to me. And I just could not pick a name for him. What should I name my baby cat? How about y'all help me out? What should I name my baby cat? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. He won't even let me get close enough. Or she, he or she won't let me. What's a... A versatile name that I can name baby cat. Y'all help me out in the comment section below. And then I pick the one that I like the most and we'll go with that one. <laughs> and I'll, I will announce it. But just give me some name ideas. I've never thought of like a versatile name that could go for a boy or a, get, a girl. I was about to say a gal. Lordy. But anyway, yeah. Y'all coming into some, some, bless, some blessings. Some blessings. Whatever you've been investing in, whatever you've been putting in, you know, Given to it's yeah, baby. It's coming. I like it. I like this energy. Oh, okay. I'm being drawn to this other other. What is going on with my words? I was about to say utter. Utter. Yep, tongue tied. I don't know. Somebody could be tongue tied. All right. Spirit clarify the summer energy. Some of y'all is gonna be really sunny where you're at. Something about um Sunflowers could be significant. You could be either you're purchasing these flowers or like you are going to see them or like you could be wearing something with sunflowers. That's crazy. I just purchased a dress that got sunflowers on it. Anyway, that could be significant. What's going on? Messages for Scorpio. Beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. Baby, listen. Mm -mm. Proposal, romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Some of y'all need to be uh protective of either this relationship that you got coming in or this business opportunity that you got coming in others of you y'all need to be protective of this person that's trying to offer you some sort of romantic proposal or uh business opportunity y'all may need to kind of work with yourself and not trust who this is i'm gonna clarify i'm gonna clarify that because i don't like that spirit can you tell me about this proposal this business opportunity or romantic energy. Clear for that proposal, please, Spirit. Four of Wands. Okay. No, it looks stable. Knight of Pentacles. It looks something that's stable. This lawyer's been a long time coming. Okay. So, yeah, you coming into a business opportunity. Either this is a, a relationship or a partnership that you're really going to work and collaborate with somebody that's going to, like, uh, bring you, like, this community energy, stability in your life. What's this? Uh, so, this could actually be a, a good person. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. No, nope. King of Wands in reverse. No, I don't like that. Five of Pentacles. Be careful of, yeah, please be careful of who you're telling your business or because whoever this is, this is a greedy, materialistic, forceful, uh, weak leader. Okay, this is somebody who ain't even in control of their own life, but they want you to collaborate with them. This could be somebody in the community, somebody that you know, somebody that's like close to family or uh, that, that's like, you know, in the community. Maybe y'all have the same friends or something like that. Y'all share family. I don't know. But um, this person, they could make, like, bad gambling decisions or take risks. So you need to be careful. I knew it. I knew it. It's, see? This person going to try to portray it like it's some good when it's really not. Like, it's not beneficial. Five of Pentacles. So you're going to end up in a loss. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. So you could be healing from this already. And this person could be trying to come back. Mm -mm. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. But this this here, that like, they... 
they going through some sort of hardship. I don't know. Or they put you through some sort of hardship. This could be that they want you to. Yeah, they're greedy, though. This person's selfish. They could be really bad with finances and like, no, child. Uh-uh. No thanks. I saw see my first response when I said no thanks. <laughs> now, why does Scorpio need to be where? That may be why you need to be where. Because this person is not. And underneath that it says coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. So this this could be somebody that could really affect your health. Are you trying to get that? You so smart. You so smart. So this, if you connect with this person or partner up with this person this person could actually affect your health like as in stress i mean it could be like you know health wise health wise you know what i'm saying like std std something like that or this person they just they they got bad attachments or something why why to beware you better leave my book alone ma'am why the beware card for scorpio ah, look here little hands <laughs> what's the beware card what's the beware card for scorpio uh -huh. What is it? What's the beware card for Scorpio? Okay. Baby, Queen of Pentacles and No, no, no. Seven of Cups. See, somebody trying to sell you dreams. Some of y'all, this is your spouse. Queen and King of Pentacles. But there's a King of Wands attached to it as well. So this person, that could be them or this could be two masculines. Or somebody that walks in masculine energy. This, this is a weak leader. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is uh, somebody that's very selfish. Okay, someone that doesn't take care of themselves. They could be materialistic, gold digger energy as well. Um, an envious energy. So if you work with this person, again, you could go from the queen of pentacles in the upright to the queen of pentacles in reverse. Or they want you to look this way with this queen of pentacles in reverse. And it's because they're going through something. They, this could be like a boss too. Like um, with that king of pentacles in reverse and that king of wands in reverse. Since they're very forceful, they could force their way. Hold on one second. Here, get up there. Let me get up there. Go ahead. You ready to get that bottle leaking on the bed, child? Damn. Get your sippy cup. Okay. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, this person, you could have like a lot of choices coming in for you. So be careful of who you choose to work with, collaborate with. Again, Six of Cups with the Magician. What's at the top? Three of Swords in reverse. You're healing from this. You're breaking free from this with this Eight of Swords energy, whoever this is. They could have had you in this Queen of Pentacles for a while. Envious, selfish, uh, feeling like, uh, made you feel like you were a gold digger. But with the Seven of Cups, why do I feel like it was an illusion that was casted? They tried to make you this way. Or this is how they want you to, like, they want you to think it's a good opportunity, but really they're going to have you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. The Devil in reverse. You're breaking free of this, whatever this is. Yeah, you're going to be independent and free. You're breaking free from this. So, you, yeah, the death card. Yeah, you're putting an end to this. Whatever this is, transformation. Again, that the deck of cards with the uh, witch's wisdom. Remember, you had to clear out some energy. This is the energy you're clearing out. Mm, okay. Let's see. I want to read. Um, I got that book over here. If not, I'll go get it. Why, well, yes. No, that ain't it. Hold on. Let me go grab this book to this other deck of cards here. And uh, that way I can get further information on the Beware card. One moment. All right, let's... Uh... Let's see if I can find it here. Cause I like I like to read the meanings of the card because it always seems to give a little more depth to what is going on. Come on now. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop. Okay. In your personal or relationships, affairs of the heart could be very stormy. Now is not a good time to start a new relationship. You're likely to be vulnerable, uh, so may not make the wisest choices. See? Uh, take care not to become involved with someone who zaps your confidence in any way. It will only cause your heart um, you heartache in the long term. Shh. Listen to your intuition. You heard her. Listen to your intuition and be on your guard for those trying to con you or those who do not have your best interests at heart. This card can also indicate temptation to avoid adultery. No matter how tempting it may be, don't mistake false flattery or lust for love as it could end badly. 
Try and see people for who they are. Avoid putting someone on a pedestal and being disappointed when the reality does not match your dream. Jealous friendships could surface and a Judas or smiling assassin could cause you grief. Best to let go of these toxic friendships as soon as possible. See there? Career money. The wrong advice could see you losing money, so beware. Damn, one second. Okay. The wrong advice could see you losing money, so beware. Don't get involved in any get-rich-quick schemes and don't lend money at the moment. You are unlikely to get it back. Neither is it a good time to borrow money unless you are 100% sure you are able to pay it back. Keep a tab on spending as unexpected bills may arrive, which could be stressful. So some of y'all don't need to lend out no money right now. Others of you do not partner up with somebody right now that's coming in for a relationship because they do not have your best interest. They're doing things that are that is going to either like they want you to put them on a pedestal with this king of pentacles in reverse king of wands in reverse but they don't have ish to give you okay they're coming in because they greedy all right they greedy they want you to to um be in that energy so you, it may be okay for you to be selfish right now scorpio with that that beware card it may be okay for you to be selfish right now or be in this queen of pentacles in reverse energy towards somebody because somebody here is creating illusions with the Seven of Cups for you or towards you here. They want you to think like this is going to be a good investment. Da -da -da -da. But right now, make sure you're not being materialistic. Make sure you're not being insecure. Letting somebody play on your insecurities. Um, make sure you're not letting somebody make you feel jealous or feeling like you need to be jealous of somebody or something. No, 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 no. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Yeah, this card is a warning card. You could be in danger of taking too many risks. So be care be very careful in your financial and personal life at this vulnerable time. Avoid excessive alcohol, drugs, and your food intake as these can lead to dependence or weight gain. So be careful of like, if you're trying to lose weight and stuff like that, be careful of overeating, overindulging as well. It's just, it's because somebody trying to come in like, oh, this is a good business opportunity. This is a good relationship or oh i'm gonna be this for you and they're not they are not they're doing something because they 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 want what they want let's see what's going on mm -hmm. oh, who this is child what's going on for scorpio messages for scorpio commitment things are getting serious yeah give it time everything in divine time and let things flow this would be somebody coming in like well you know what i just need some time i'm trying to work on myself da 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 do whatever ba, ba, ba. okay no they not they may try to come towards you like they want to commit me this person i want to commit to you they need something they need something they hope you insecure enough to give it to them what's going on scorpio energy honeymoon honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding this person could come in and love bomb you come in and love bomb you scorpio like yeah we're gonna be in a commitment or i'm gonna be devoted and loyal to you da, 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 da. no let go let it go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now this this whoever this is if this is a return of a past energy that's why i was feeling like that this person is is does not have your best interest what else is going on ma'am aria snow she bad <laughs> she bad climbing on everything get down before you fall thank you confession someone has to tell you something this could be somebody coming in like i need to tell you something da, da, da. but it's for a reason there's some attached to it intimacy sexual chemistry reminiscent yeah it could have some something to do with somebody you used to be involved with okay you used to be in a relationship with What's going on scorpio energy 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 mercury retrograde electronic issues communication issues review everything mm -mm. date night get ready to to be wind and die dang i just bit my tongue mm, somebody think be significant yes luck is on your side see Something good is happening for you. So somebody trying to come in, they trying to, or something like you have luck, like you have this good luck energy in your life. And somebody is trying to come in, either like tell you some or give you a little information, but they want something. It's something attached to that. 
you may not see it coming yet. It may be delayed. Like they they want you to they do something for you and they want you to do something in return. So just be careful. Cause they know luck is on your side here. Mm -mm. Nope. There's some attached to it. And you may not find it out right now until a little later. So uh yeah, this what's the tea on this, baby? What's the tea up on this, child? in your mouth one second okay so let's see what's the tea on this because baby we're gonna find out why <laughs> what is going on what's going on clarify commitment can you clarify commitment for scorpio all right clarify commitment for scorpio please spirit impersonator see <laughs> wants to be you acts like dresses like looks like copies you this person's an impersonator. They want to copy you. They want to copy your swag, copy your style, reflecting scarcity tactics. This could be somebody going through something financially, mentally, whichever. They feel some type of way. You may need to look back on something, reflect back on something. Like any other time this person came towards you, why did they come towards you? What's commitment? Legal issues. This person could be going through legalities. Court judges, immigration lawyers, and etc. This person could have legal issues or something like that. Trying to portray like they you. You know, love triangle. They could have had like they could have got you involved in like a third party situation. They could have bullied you online, all kind of stuff. Been obsessive on doing this. They could have did this with a toxic lover. And they want to come back towards you? For what? Y'all could have had a serious commitment at one point in time. What's the honeymoon? kissing ass yeah so they're gonna try to come in and kiss your booty like oh you know whoop de whoop de whoop marrying for money but this is somebody that only wants to be attached to you because of what you can do for them they know being attached to you they are successful because you're successful this is a leech smile in your face whole time want to take your place backstabbers mm -hmm. karmic friend can't trust them anyway can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. This person could have been in competition with you. What's the honeymoon? What about honeymoon for Scorpio? Bad reputation. Yeah, this is somebody that either tried to ruin your reputation or they or they got a bad reputation. Something about it. Too busy winning. You over here too busy winning. Or when they when they was uh trying to ruin your reputation, they were winning. See what I'm saying? Now this person want to come in and kiss your booty because they knew that they know they messed their reputation up with you. But again, you go back to this. It's because this person going through some sort of legal issue or problems. Who's at the top? Carless. Yeah, this part, this person may be stagnant. They can't move forward. For some of y'all, this person having car issues. Okay. Their car could have got repo or um, something's going on with their car, like having problems with transportation, family issues. They can't move forward in a family dynamic or with the family dynamic or something like that. Hmm, why is that? Are you a major player? Or something like that? Uninterested. Yeah, no. This person could be very stagnant in their life. And say they were trying to build a family with somebody else or start, start something with somebody else. These people or this person is uninterested in working with them because they can't move forward. Groupy. But they look groupy energy. And it's because they, they tried to impersonate like they were you. Child, uh-uh. What's confession? Look at that karmic friend. Yeah, this is a karmic friend. Now, this could be a karmic friend trying to come to you and tell you this. Or this is somebody you know is a karmic. They used to be, you used to be cool with this person. Until you find out they was in competition with you. Or they was willing to make you fight for them. Or that's what they wanted. Girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Yeah, this person could, could have been at war with you. Whole time you think they your friend, they really not. Like, no. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. What's confession? What's confession? Moving and block. Yeah, they could be moving or relocating or something like that. I feel like you got this person blocked. Either you got them, hey. this would be somebody you got blocked on social media. Yeah, running and obsessive lover. They could be trying to run away from a toxic lover or trying to run away from this toxic energy. Whatever they was doing out of their ego. Yeah, wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. Because nothing's changed. This person's, you'll know who this is because this person's stagnant. They stuck, nothing's changing for them. They're not growing in any type of way. They, they still in this obsessive Dangerous, toxic energy. Now they're trying to run away from it. Like, no, I didn't do that. 
fishing for comments. They still watch your social media. I don't love, respected, and admired, idolize, and fan. They still watch your social media too. They want to be looked at as, as like this ideal person, okay? Loved and respected and admired. That's how they want to look. For some of y'all, they they fishing for comments, seeing what other people are saying about you or uh, how other people react to you or something like that. This could also be the person that does stuff for clout. It's giving me clout energy. Like, oh, I'm this person. I'm da da da. But they're being blocked now. Some of y'all done blocked this person from your social media, so they can't see uh, what you're doing and stuff like that. Some of y'all, they used to use friends to find out how you're moving or what you're doing. That's being blocked. I don't know if you stop telling people your business or you stop saying certain things or whatever, but that's being blocked too. You can be moving in silence now. Yeah. What about the Mercury retrograde? What's that? Yeah, too busy winning. See? You're too busy winning. There's some sort of, there's a blockage in communication here. Okay, I, I don't know... If you just, yeah, travel. You done traveled away from this person, distance yourself, or this person could be at a distance from you. Or you did some energetically, like, moving forward, and now there's a blockage in communication. What's Mercury retrograde for Scorpio? Fed up and girl fight. And it could have something to do with somebody being in competition with you or somebody competing with you. So you know who this person is. One second. Yeah, now this person could be trying to run away from it. Obsessive lover. Yeah, I keep coming up. Ego. This person was doing something out of their ego, operating out of their ego. You you tired of this person. You fed up. Whatever they've been doing, you fed up. You over it. You done. This person could have wanted to win at all costs. Just know if there's uh, communication issues, it's for a reason. What's date night for Scorpio? What's date night? On phase. Yeah. Some of y'all could be dating somebody new. Or like if this person was dating somebody, you're unfazed about it. Yeah, idol. Love, respected, admired, idolize, and fan. Date night, clarify that. Wasting time. I'm saying this person is heavy in your energy. Good Lord. Ignoring. You could be ignoring this person. Dust it off and ain't shit. Because you know this person ain't about nothing. You know they ain't about nothing. You're like, I'm not but Wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited, and dirty offer. You know whoever this is, they come with dirty ping, dirty pee. They, they, it's not a legit offer. You already know. I think you've already witnessed this. Romantic love affair, they cheat on you. Got a secret lover, they fake flexing. Like they out here being a boss energy. Yeah. Sleeping with people on the down low. Fake flexing, acting like, you know, acts rich, flosses money, acts like, acts fancy, shows off, etc. And this person could be a boss or a CEO or something like that. They just, they got big D energy. But for what reason, I don't know. Having sleepless nights. Waterproof getting, you're going to know about this too. You know it. This person could also be trying to get some sort of evidence. Yeah, once you back, you know. Some of y'all know this person want to come back in your energy. And they trying to get like some sort of proof or something like that. And you like, uh-uh. Because y'all know this person ain't ish. Y'all know because this person's a time waster. They, they waste your time. They waste other people's time. This this ain't a good energy. This is a, a nasty little energy right here. Ain't uh, no good piece of shite having, you know, type of energy. Whoever this is. Clarify commitment. Clarify commitment for Scorpio. Watching you move on and being happy really makes me mad. So this person is pissed off because you're moving forward. Some of y'all, either y'all were in a commitment with this person or you're about to get in a commitment with somebody else. And so this person's going through legal issues and they're why, you living a private life. Yeah, you done went private. You don't tell people your business. You just kind of doing your own thing. You're not telling people the moves you make. I'm telling you, this person, some, maybe you stop posting certain things online and stuff like that, saying certain stuff because this person was watching you. Everyone believed the lies that this person told on you. Yeah, because at, at one point, this person was telling all kind of lies and stuff like that. Like, even if you were in hermit mode, right? Say you were in hermit mode, and all of a sudden, you come out and you start posting stuff. You go on places, you doing this, you doing that, stuff like that, right? They finding out about it. People are finding out their lies aren't matching their truth. Like, you know, it's like, well, you said Scorpio this, you said Scorpio that, but Scorpio doing something completely different. Are you, like... Your lies ain't making sense anymore. What's going on here? What's honeymoon? What's the honeymoon energy for Scorpio? Clear for our honeymoon. Clear for our honeymoon energy for my Scorpios. 
She's jealous of my baby mom. Mm. I was taking advantage of them for money. So, yeah. Somebody don't want to find out that, like, somebody else was jealous of you. Like, if you're the baby mom, they could have been with a person that was jealous of you, okay? Or some, some, some sort of baby mom's involved here. Others of you or somebody that could have kids, okay? Others of you, I was taking advantage of them for money. Somebody don't want people to know that they could have been using you for money. Again, that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they could have been using you for money. They could have been trying to make you jealous and stuff like that. My baby dad don't like you. This could be somebody, black, black magic was put on your appearance. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, somebody could have tried to make it seem like, oh, they just don't like their baby daddy or they don't like that uh, my baby dad likes you or is with you or something like that. They, they could have tried to make it out like you were jealous or insecure. For some of, of y'all, if this is like your baby dad or something like that and the person that they was trying to mix with or like start a pot with, they don't, even really like, they don't even really like that person. They don't even really like that person. They was just using them to get back at you or something. Somebody was love bombing somebody else. Or say y'all got a baby dad. Y'all baby daddy don't like this person. <laughs> or a father figure or something like that. What's confession? Somebody that could be a father. What's confession? Singing bowl. Some of y'all need to like do some singing bowl rituals or cleanse. Okay. I'm moving out. I don't see us together in the future. Yeah. Somebody could be moving out. Child. Like, nah, I don't see us moving forward. Da, da, da. 11, 11, you are on the right path. Yeah. Spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path. That this is happening. It, this must be happening in the background. They could have been with somebody and they had a bad reputation and they baby daddy might not like them. I don't know. I don't Clarify. Is this? That's not the deck I want. Sleep keeps getting stuck. Clarify. This confession energy. Does this have to do with, is this outside of Scorpio? This confession energy. Is this outside of Scorpio that this block energy, karma friend energy is happening? Yes, this is outside of you. It could have to do with another feminine or uh, somebody could have made a choice out of feelings. Yeah. The moon in reverse. Somebody could be unveiling a secret like, no, this is what's going on. Boo, 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 boo. Somebody could be moving out. My stomach's crowded. I'm going to have to go get something to eat. Oh, I'm cooking today, y'all. I got to make me some. I want a good soul food meal. I want, like, some catfish, some white beans, some cornbread, some. Child. Mm. Can't wait. <laughs> this has to do with a mother or a mother energy. Somebody that, uh, this could be a mother, a stepmother, a uh, Somebody that is a nurturer, but somebody hey. here. Get that out your mouth. Why are you? You can't put everything in your mouth. That's an eyebrow. I mean, a, 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 a eyeshadow thing. But yeah, this going to have to do with another uh, feminine energy. I'm just saying like that. Somebody. Or somebody that they got feelings for or something like that. What's Mercury retrograde? This could also be a baby mom. What's Mercury retrograde? Mercury retrograde. I say I don't trust you, but in reality, you shouldn't trust me. Yeah, this is somebody you got trust issues with. They can make it seem like, well, I don't trust you, boop, 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 boop. but really, you can't trust them because they they fighting with you, competing with you, or something like that. Hey, <laughs> you so loud. Divine timing is at play. Yeah, some playing out here. Whatever this communication issue and stuff like that, some playing out. My or their baby mom or baby dad is jealous that they don't want them anymore. Yeah, this could have to do with maybe you don't want this person anymore. They don't want this person anymore. They don't want you anymore. I don't know. Flip it. Have it need be. But this, somebody's finding out like, oh, my gosh, like I'm competing. I'm you could somebody could have been trying to say you competing with uh, them because your baby dad acting or baby mom act like they don't want you anymore. And you wasn't doing this. But this is this the uh, role that somebody had to play. What's day night? So somebody could be dating somebody else. You're unfazed about it. You're ignoring it. You don't care. You know this person's a piece of shite. You don't want nothing to do with them. What's day night? She doesn't want us to speak because she's insecure. See? He doesn't want us to speak because he's insecure. So you got two insecure ass people. 
that you are not even worried about. You so unfazed and, and, and unbothered and ignoring these people. Like, man, I ain't even studying neither one of y'all. Both of y'all pieces of shit. This is like somebody get with your ex and they think that you're jealous of them or you're jealous of him or jealous of her, whatever. But they really two insecure people that have met up and got together and they sitting here thinking that you got an issue with them the whole time. You looking at both of them like they a piece of shit and you're like, man, I don't want nothing to do with neither one of you. <laughs> like y'all you you both have two different love languages yeah i don't even believe the same i don't love the way y'all love okay we mm -mm. you getting away from it seven 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 look wonderful things are about to happen for you and that's why good things are coming in for you because you're getting away from people y'all don't even have the same love languages y'all not even on the same vibration you know what i'm saying they they do stuff out of insecurity you do stuff out of love making a fool of themselves is what this is okay spirit what other thing you want me to use before i end this star seeds okay i ain't use this deck in a minute star seeds it is all right spirit last messages for scorpio yeah you ascending baby you you baby you on a way <laughs> Way different frequency. Freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. And that's what you're doing. You on a you on a different. The card you got is ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. Whatever this next phase of your life are, you are so ready because you don't walked away from insecure people, people that just aren't on the same vibration as you. Yeah, fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. You looking at life differently. You got dreams. You got aspirations you got other things that you worried about these people worried about if you talk have are you talking to so and so have you talked to yo da, 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 da. they on th uh what's it called 3d type of stuff when you in you in 5d right now you on a different a way different frequency these people worried about who cheating on who and you up here worried about how can i raise my vibration so that i can get on the, the vibration i want to be on to manifest this <laughs> to get this in life like that's what you all Blue star, follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Pineal gland. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. That's what you're doing. Maybe you tapped in, tap in, tap, tap, tap in. You tap, you on a way. Love, live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. You you on your life purpose. You doing what you're supposed to be doing. These are like low vibrational, toxic, karmic energies here. And you, baby, you, you, these people are like on earth and then you're like in the galaxy somewhere else. That's, that's the best way to explain it because you know, you know, leveled up, you're ascending. You and y'all don't even speak the same languages. <laughs> that's how different you are from these folks here. Okay. But anyway, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, okay? This is what I have for you. No, you know what? Let Because mm -mm. we already at 38 minutes. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get a few initials and uh, zodiac signs or the month to see who we're dealing with. Now, they, they could have this as their sun, moon, or rising anywhere in their chart, okay? Wherever it plays significant. What's going on? This is their first, last, or middle initial. What's going on? How does Scorpio know who they are dealing with or this is for them? Okay. You have the initial K coming out. Initials. How does Scorpio know these messages are for them or who they're talking about? Do a couple more shuffles. How does Scorpio know? Now I'm hearing, how will I know? How will I know? All right. Bottom of the deck, we have Z. So somebody can have that in their name. We have Aries, T, S, K, Gemini. The month of August could be significant. A Pisces could be significant. O, I. Some about koi fish could be significant. Capricorn. I don't know why I just said that. Cancer. Yeah. <laughs> F, W, M, E, P. A Sagittarius can be significant. We have July, D, M, December, E is here. 
So, yeah. Some about koi fish. I heard William, Miranda. Mm. Effie. Mm. <laughs> that, that's a good one. <laughs> Paul, David, Tanisha. Mm. Mm. All right. Fawn. I never heard that name. I like that name. That reminds me of that Jawbreaker movie. If y'all ain't seen that, that might be significant. That Jawbreaker movie. Woo! Okay, Peter. I heard me, 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 me. Okay, so yeah, somebody could be really selfish. So Aries, Gemini, Pisces, August. That's Leo energy, I believe. Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, December. December is uh, Sagittarius energy. July. What is July? Is that Gemini? No. M and E. What is July energy? I can't even remember what July is. Comes before Leo. Aries, Aries, let's say Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Virgo? No. Virgo is September. I believe. What is that July? That might be July energy. I don't know. Anyway, and August could be Leo or Libra. Anyway, don't don't have me on here telling. I need to get my zodiac signs together. But anyway, uh, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this brings you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.